I will continue my experimenting with the Open Tools animation program, trying to learn how to use it. I'm starting off with an image that I had made earlier of a nursery, and I will base the animation on that image. First, I need to make the rocking horse into a separate sprite. I'll do that in a different program, GIMP, and I will then import the background and the rocking horse into Open Tones. In the Open Tones program, I import the images by using the X sheet window and import level. I put the two images into separate columns or layers. In level settings, I adjust the level's DPI to the same DPI as the camera has. With the edit tool, I adjust the position of the rocking horse. And in camera settings, I adjust the height and the width of the camera output to fit the height and width of the background image. In the scene settings, I set the frame rate to 8. And now we are ready to start animating. We will start off with a animation of 24 frames. So I adjust the background level to 24 frames. For the rocking horse, I will first adjust the center of the image to the bottom of the image. That is the point that we are going to use to rotate the image to get the rocking motion. We start out with 12 frames. We set the keyframes. And let's see what kind of a rocking motion we've got. Oh, looks quite good. A little bit fast, perhaps. I pull the frames for the rocking horse down to see if the new frames have any animation to them. And they don't. I go over to the Exasheet tab and take a look at the Function Editor window. In this window, we can find a lot of information on the different columns. Take a look in column 2 and look at rotation. And we get the values for the rotation in the different frames. On orange background, we get the keyframes. And on green background, we get the in-between values. I remove the values. And now the animation is taken away from the rocking horse column. And I can set new keyframes to create a longer and slower rocking motion. And there we go. To make a second set of rocking motions, I open up the Function Editor window again. This time I open it from the Windows menu. I copy the values of uh, the frames with the rocking animation, and then paste those values in below the original set of values, creating a second set of rocking. I add frames, both to the background level and to the locking horse level, to cover the second set of locking motion. This way, I can keep repeating 
very motion as many times as I wanted to. I will now attempt something different. I will try to draw and animate directly in the program. I start by turning off the visual on the two layers we already have. And then I create a new layer. This will be a vector layer. I use the pen tool to draw a figure. from the style editor window and the palette window holds the colors that I use for this particular level. Uh, I use the fill tool from the toolbar. The type is set to normal and the mode to areas. Uh, I did have some trouble uh, filling in the areas at this attempt. I had to, to click twice to get the color to, to fill in. And this appears to be because I have the option frame range selected, uh, not intentional. When I later tried without frame range selected, it worked a lot better. I am now going to create flapping wings for this character. I'm planning to do three frames of wings to get the flapping motion. For this I create a new vector layer. This layer must be below the layer with the character on it. So I move the layer using Ctrl X and then Ctrl V to insert it before the layer with the character. I use the tape tool from the toolbar to close off the area to make it possible to use the fill tool on it. I am attempting to use a semi-transparent color on the wings to make them see through. The onion skin function is helpful when 
you are drawing the animation, you can activate and deactivate the online function from a menu that you open by right-clicking on the work area. I had some problem coloring this set of wings. Probably I had not closed the path correctly, so it would just not fill in until I got the path correctly closed. After positioning the wings, I was quite happy with this character and the way the wings moved. So I merged the two layers using the Merge Layer commando under the X-Sheet menu. Unfortunately, I failed to save the palettes when I closed the program. So the next time I open it, the layers were there, but there were no images in the layers. So I had to make the character all over again for the animation. That is learning the hard way.